This video is sponsored by the Darkest Dungeon board game. For more information, check out the links in the description. Hello and welcome back to Dicebreaker where we have a very special episode here because we're going to be playing the Darkest Dungeon board game. So we gathered the two biggest Darkest Dungeon nerds in the office to do this. Myself and Johnny Chiodini from the video team. I'm also joined by two very special guests as well. In fact, it's the co-designers of the Darkest Dungeon board game. Hello both to you. How are you doing? We're fine. Hi, hello. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Wait. Uh, please feel free to introduce yourselves. Yeah, hello. I am I am Nick. I am one of the designers of uh, Darkest Dungeon, on the board game. And I'm Margie. I'm uh, the co-designer. Perfect. So we are um, we we're kind of already set up here. We've done most of the mm -hmm. uh, of the sort of like you know the the preamble. Um, so yeah. we're good to go. But would you would you mind doing like a sort of a brief introduction to the people at home to sort of say you know how this game works and and the the kind of things that we're going to be doing? Yeah. So basically, this is an adaptation of the video game Darkest Dungeon. I believe most uh, players are familiar with that. Uh, so this is a fully cooperative board game uh, from one to four players. Uh, it will be a campaign game uh, so the main difference from the from the video game is that uh, we have a different perspective so in the board game you play as the heroes and not not as the air that takes care of you know everything so you can say it's a more point of view mm. uh, of the game uh, so yeah that's that's basically a brief overview of the game I don't know if RJ wants to add something. Yeah, so basically this will be a campaign uh, game. Uh, this uh, will uh, be of uh, 11 uh, missions. And uh, you will need to defeat uh, three bosses before you can enter the, the Darkest Dungeon. Each time you beat a boss, the campaign advances itself. It becomes uh, more difficult. And uh, should you be alive uh, at the end of the ninth uh, uh, mission, then the, the doors of Dark's Dungeon will open and you can uh, storm in and uh, try to defeat the Underworld of All Evil. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is basically how this, uh, this works. It's a straightforward campaign. It's designed to be replayable. So it's uh, not focused on a very strict story and all that. Uh, it's, it's a bit uh, short, let's say. So it's 11 uh, sessions, maybe. Or and, less. Uh, yeah, or less, depending yeah. on the, yeah. on the yeah. play or the group. The game, yeah. It can be even less than that. Yes. And uh, it's designed to be replayable, and each time you play it will be uh, very different. Uh, should you choose uh, different heroes with different skill combinations and, uh, and all that. Also, the randomizing uh, also contributes to this uh, playability. So each time uh, dungeons are random and all that. <coughs> yeah. All right. Um, so we're playing uh, one of the first missions. So this is this is sort of like a demo session. So the uh, the pieces that you see, we're playing on Tabletopia here, but the pieces you see aren't necessarily final art and all that kind of thing. Um, it's yeah. more or less a prototype. Yes. Yes, it's a prototype though. Uh, most of the art is, uh, I think, uh, final. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, but of course, uh, the game we won't come with standees like this. We'll come with uh, high-quality plastic uh, miniatures, mm -hmm. as uh, Mythic Games uh, is known for. Uh, and yes, there are a lot of uh, prototype components like these cards, mm -hmm. many of the layouts and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep they keep this in mind. But the rules, the rules are uh, next to final. All right. So uh, the experience will be uh, what uh, what the players will get. No matter the components. So we, we have our quest. From, uh, from a gameplay game perspective. Yeah, yeah, we have our quest. We're going to be wiping out some monsters. Um, <laughs> yeah, trying to find their lairs and completely oust them from this uh, from this place. But let's let's kick this thing off then. I'm going to be playing as, uh, yes. as the Bounty Hunter, which is one of my favorite characters from the game. Uh, Johnny's also going to be playing as one of his favorite characters from the game, the Hellion. Um, and then which characters have you both chosen for yourself, sorry? So I'm playing the Highwayman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm playing the Vestal. All right. So if anyone's not familiar with the oh. video game, we've got the Vestal, who's kind of like our cleric healer sort of role. High Woman is a little bit more tricksy, a bit more long-ranged. Um, the Hellion is pretty much just 
I've got a big axe, I'm going to smash you in the face. <laughs> uh, and then the bounty hunter is all about sort of like giving enough debuff so that you can do a, a big final hit sort of thing. So look forward to that. Yeah. But let's uh, let's yeah. kick things off. Let's play. Yeah. So uh, yeah, before before we enter, another thing that we forgot. Oh. Uh, it's the bosses, so whenever you start the campaign and uh, each time you beat the boss, you need to draw a new one. This are uh, called imminent threats, and they have a lingering uh, threat on both uh, the hamlet and the dungeon. So we're going to use uh, the, the prophet here. So we're not facing the prophet, but uh, his uh, threats linger throughout the campaign until we kill him. So uh, if you zoom here, you press space and uh, check it, you will see that uh, the prophet has uh, two passive abilities. Uh, the town threat, mm -hmm. that is the visions of past deeds, and uh, the tangible threat, which is the vision of torturing end, which is uh, the one where we need to focus now. By entering the dungeon, each hero suffers two Wow, stress. okay, straight so, away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so we can Ask start me. by getting uh, so two stress as we, before we even uh, begin. Okay, so this is a dungeon, uh, randomly generated, uh, although with specific uh, room tiles. So we know which rooms are here, but we don't know where they are. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, the party that uh, is moving through these uh, corridors. So these dots here are the corridors, and these are the rooms. So what we do now, as we move down a corridor, uh, we initiate the exploration phase. So the exploration phase is pretty straightforward. We have uh, these two exploration dice. So we just roll these exploration dice and see uh, what uh, we found as we move down the, the corridor. So uh, each hero will roll uh, his own uh, dice and we'll resolve them uh, in order individually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've got what looks like two <laughs> traps. <laughs> okay, cool. So now, so we now are based yeah. on the stance track. So we go from aggressive to defensive. So the bounty hunter first, you can resolve your dice. You resolve them in any order you like. I aggressively walk into two traps. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. if you check this card, you can see that the trap actually attacks you with an accuracy of eight. But you have the option to use a tool provision. We have two of those. So you can disarm the trap before rolling for attack to see if it hits you or not. So that's your choice. Find me. OK. Uh... Any recommendations? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you like. I mean, I, 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 have, I have a trap. I can. Yeah. I can, I, I can roll for it. I guess it's only you can, you can you can use the one to to disarm it and try to roll for the next one. Yeah. How, yeah. Let's 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 get rid of one tool and then I'll roll for the next one. Which one do we? Okay. Which one do we think is the least useful? Uh, is the, the same thing. So you can yeah. just discard the tool. Tools do the same thing. Uh, whatever. Okay. And uh, so uh, one tool will disarm one trap. And now you need to roll. So so basically you roll uh, the, the the trap that uh, that's attacking you. So we roll for uh, for monsters and traps uh, as well. There's no uh, dungeon master or something like that. So this is how attacks work. So you see the trap has an accuracy of eight. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, that you roll and anything up to eight is a hit. But you have a dodge of one, so your dodge modifies the accuracy. So it's uh, eight minus one, it's seven. Okay, so so, I need so the final accuracy of the trap is seven. So yeah, you roll the die, and that was, if you roll that to seven, uh, you the trap hits you. Eight, eight nine, or a ten, and I'm good. So let's let's hope for big money, no whammy here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this this is a hit, but it's also a crit. So in you see. <laughs> the, the trap has also a critical uh, value of 2, so as you roll the, up to its critical, it's a critical instead of a normal hit. So that is, that is uh, uh, 4 damage for you, so you can reduce your life uh, by 4. And because you suffered the critical hit, uh, you also take one stress. This is how critical hits uh, oh work. <laughs> and don't don't worry, we'll fix it <laughs> as we go further down the dungeon. <laughs> so it's uh, for damage. Uh, Good lord. For you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next, next one is. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, great. Yeah. This is going great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, You've gone quite quiet, by the way, Johnny. Oh really? Oh, there you go. That's better. Uh, I think yep. I was just leaning back. <laughs> um, 
So I'm in a defensive position, so I'm assuming I'm next. Um, yes. It's not looking great for me either. So uh, got hunger going on and also stress. So uh, we'll start with the stress, uh, the stressful darkness, I guess. I either take two stress or we lose a level of light. Yes, yeah. or, you, or you can spend the torch. Or a, ah, okay. Hmm. What do we reckon? I believe right now it's okay to let the light drop. Okay. Yeah, Very fine. We, 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 we can handle it. We yeah. It also gives us a critical uh, buff. Yeah, I've already been credited, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, now you're hungry, so um, you can neither eat the food or take the damage. I to be honest, I'm going to take the damage because we don't really have any food tokens at this point, and it's only two. It just okay. it seems like a waste. Okay. So. Okay. okay. Okay, so now it's my turn. Uh, I rolled only this drop, so I'm going to take it, take my chances. Okay, oh, I dodged the yeah, trap. Yeah, that's good. Hey, hey. Yeah, okay, yeah I, I have a dodge of one, so the accuracy of the trap went down to seven, so I'm okay with the eight. Great. Right. So I have rolled the stress with darkness. Uh, I believe I will take the two stress. <coughs> and that's for me. All right. Okay, this was the exploration. So now we flip the room that we're heading towards and see what it is. So this is a dark room. Uh, if you see here, this card tells us what happens. So whenever the, we enter the dark room, uh, the light goes down by one. Uh, also, it says that this room can be cleared. So what this means is uh, that if we ever need to backtrack through this room, we need to suffer, uh, su yeah, to suffer the, oh, the minus one light again. And because the room is not clear, we cannot rest here. You can only rest in the rooms that you have cleared. Right. Oof. Okay. Okay. Like so, crossroads. Yeah, so now we're at crossroads, and this is a, a nice uh, moment to explain a new mechanic, uh, the scouting. So if you remember from the video game, uh, you could scout ahead and see what's going on. Uh, we have this mechanic here. Uh, only this time it's not random. It's a choice. Uh, it's a group choice. So we can, as a group, choose to scout ahead. Got, uh, what uh, this do is uh, we take one stress, each uh, hero takes one stress, but we reveal all adjacent uh, rooms. Seems like a so, good time to do it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And uh, in addition, we will only roll one exploration die when we are moving towards the room that we have yeah. scouted. This sounds great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so are you, you happy with that, Nick? You've got the highest stress. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so let's take one stress, and we, we reveal um, all adjacent rooms. Okay, cool. So we see this is a lair, this is one of the rooms we need to clear in order to gain the experience. And this is an empty room, and this is a trap room. Mm -hmm. So... You say that we move this way, right? Yeah. I, I vote for moving uh, towards yeah. the... Yeah, let's go kill some things. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so now we so, roll yeah. one die because we have scouted. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, now I'm hungry. <laughs> ah. Okay. So again, uh, Bounty Hunter goes first because he's in the aggressive stance. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so it's still not going great over here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have, I mean, how many damage do you take? Just two? Yeah. For being hungry. Yes. I would go down to eight yeah. health. But <laughs> we've got a healer. That'll be fine. Yeah, fine. 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 Yeah. Don't worry about it. we've got a healer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're up, Johnny. Keep okay. in mind that the hill is going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that is also a, the stress is really building. I meanwhile rolled blockading rubble, yeah. um, so I could spend a tool. To be honest with you, taking one damage and one stress doesn't feel awful at this point. Yeah. Okay. So I'll I'll just do that. Yeah. Go ahead. Nice. Okay. So it's a curio for me. So I found a curio. So what this does is we have this uh, curio pile here. So I go and check what it is. So now I have uh, two choices. I can go recklessly and check the curio, or I can go more carefully by spending a torch, and this will uh, remove the mm. negative effects of the curio. Uh -huh. Curios always have both positive and negative effects. Okay. Uh, so we have two torches, uh, <clears throat> and the light's already down to three. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm going uh, recklessly and uh, checking the curio. 
Okay, the Alder of Light. Okay, this is basically maybe the most, uh, the best curio I could uh, draw. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, so a small holy Alder seems out of place against the backdrop of your occupation. Uh, so it's five gold for us. Nice. I'm going to add five gold here. Uh, it's a positive quirk for me. Great. We'll talk about it in a while. Yeah. Uh, I found also a provision, so I'm going to roll the die. Nice, another potion. Okay. And uh, also I become uh, blighted. One uh, wound for three turns. So I take this uh, blight uh, counter, uh, raise it to three. So each time during combat and only during combat, when my turn comes, I will use this by one and take uh, one, damage. Uh, one damage for this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this was uh, the query I found. And uh, now I have this positive quirk. I'm hoarder. So each time I roll a curio, uh, I recover one stress, which is good. Mm. That's very good. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I'm also hungry. Uh, I will take the two damage because we have only one food. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> and now we enter the lair. Okay, so lairs have uh, always combat. Yep. Are always guarded by monsters. So now what do we do? We have a pile of room cards here. These are shuffled. Uh, the final game, of course, will take more than six. This is just for the demo. Uh, we flip one and see where, where we are fighting. Uh, this is the ritual chamber, so we go and find the, the room and place it uh, in the center of the table. So this is uh, our arena. Okay, and now we need to populate this room with uh, heroes and uh, monsters. So if you see here, printed on the board, ah. are, the, are the stances. So each hero will go in the appropriate stance. I'm down here. Oh, we let you go on top. Uh, it, it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, it's spaces. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's not spaces. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just not on this area. I mean, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So we also see that there are two loot uh, boxes here. We got one here. Let's place it back here. And one. And of course, the rooms have some special effects. So if you check this card, it says that uh, heroes ending their turn in this area uh, suffer one stress. So basically, the areas that we start, if we end our turn here, we will take one stress. Yeah. And now we need to populate the room with monsters. Uh, how is this done? We're going to draw from this uh, pile for uh, random monsters and place them uh, here and then on the board. So we flip the first master. It's a bone rubble. If you see underneath his name, it says unholy and front. That means uh, that master tries to be in the front lines, so he will go in the uh, topmost stance. So mm -hmm. right now he will be in the aggressive one. And then, then we place the miniature uh, yeah. on the appropriate area. The next one is a Weber. Uh, so that will go also in front. The next one is a bone soldier. Cool. That's what they call me. <laughs> and the last one, ooh, is a bone defender. Okay, we are we are lucky. Yeah, uh, we're very lucky. So these these two monsters are front monsters, but they forced to occupy this uh, back uh, uh, stances. So. We know that we're going to be using their worst skills okay, cool. and try to reach uh, on the front. Yeah. So it's basically like the, the video game, if you remember, where mm -hmm. some masters prefer to be front, some masters prefer to be uh, at range, and as you move them, shuffle them, they become uh, less uh, threatening. Okay, so now combat starts. If you see here, we have uh, four rounds to complete the fight. <clears throat> Uh, if we don't manage to uh, kill all monsters during these uh, four rounds, we are forced out of the dungeon, of the room, sorry. Uh, the room is not cleared and we need to keep uh, exploring. Yeah. This is what happens if we are not manage to... Mm. So, but so we'll manage, we'll manage. We enter the room, the room is repopulated. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so now uh, we need to check who's playing. So we have this initiative deck here. And uh, this con uh, consists of eight cards, uh, four monster cards and four hero cards. So each time we are flipping one of these cards and see uh, who goes. So uh, heroes go now. 
So the first one, uh, Blaze is the, the hero higher on the stance priority. The same goes for monsters. So uh, we know beforehand uh, how we are going to, to act when the hero turn comes. Mm -hmm. So it's by bank handler now. So on your turn, you have two actions that you can perform. <laughs> Uh, one action is that you can move, mm -hmm. so you move areas equal to your speed. So Bounty Hunter can move, can move two areas if you do a move action. Another action that you can do is wound, uh, use one of your skills. Uh, a third action that you can do is to change stance by going up or down once mm -hmm. on the stance tar track. And the final action that you can do is that you can interact with the environment. So in this room, for example, you can use one action to loot the, the chest. Right. Uh, keep in mind that you can do uh, any actions in any order. So for example, you can do move and then move again if you like, or you can use two skills. Mm -hmm. The only exception to that rule is that if you use a skill as your first action, if that skill succeeds, you cannot use the same skill again okay. as a second action. But I could try okay. twice if the first time didn't happen. Exactly. Okay, cool. Yes. All right, then. Um, I think I should probably move, considering this room is going to give me stress if I don't. So mm. I am... Who are we most scared about here? Uh, this guy's on their own, so I should probably jump straight into... If I'm the aggressive one, I should probably jump straight into the double here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's do it. Keep yeah. in mind, check your skills because the the range that you see on your skill is the exact range that you need to. Yeah, so so you have a skill that has a range of two. That means that the target must be exactly two areas away. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. I think if I want to move out of the uh, of the stress zone, then I might as well just go in and smack them with a collect bounty. So yeah, let's yeah, do right. it. I'll flip it behind okay, him. And... So you are attacking which one? Um, oh, good question. Let's have a look. So it's the spider, or we need to place some uh, hit points on them. So it's five for the spider. It's six for him. And it's ten for this guy. The old bone defenders. If the bone defenders yeah, in so a bit of a yeah. rubbish place for him, then I might go straight for the Weber and try and take him out early. I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sounds like a plan. Uh, and also, my collect bounty does do six damage. So if I do hit it. Yeah. So you have an accuracy of nine, uh -huh. and the monster has a dodge of one. So anything up to eight is a is a hit. I like those odds. Let's give it a whirl. Come on, wheels. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh no, got it. <laughs> oh. Great. <laughs> okay, but it was a good plan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what counts. Next time we will. Uh... Well, at least I don't so take a stress. I don't take yeah. a stress. That's the main takeaway here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah. Very good. Okay, next one, uh, hero again. So. Uh... Great. So be. Kelly on your play, yeah. Okay. Um, so much as I would love to run straight in there and do a wicked hack, uh, that would require me to move twice in order to be in range, which obviously would stop me from attacking. So I'm going to move one. No, uh, yeah, you've got to speed of two. Because oh, you have a speed of two, you can, uh, you can reach. It's okay. Oh, brilliant. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I misunderstood. In that case, I'm going to go right over here and I'm going to deliver a wicked hack. Nice. Yep. So the accuracy is nine. What's yeah. the dodge on the... The dodge of this guy is uh, zero. Nice. So Anything up to yeah. nine? Seven. That'll do, yeah. Okay, that's a okay. hit. So a hit, no crit, but that does seven damage. Okay, so you eliminated. Annihilated. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> so now all the monsters go up one stance. No corpses to deal with then. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no yeah, corpses. We don't need corpses. Okay, okay. And this guy is dead. It goes away. Cool. Okay, next. Let's see. It's the monster. So it's the Weber. So how the monsters play, how the AI works, is that if you see uh, in the bottom of the monster card, we have the stances. Mm -hmm. So this monster can use both of his skills, no matter the stance. So we roll for a D10. So if he rolls 
one to five, he will use the first skill. If he rolls six to ten, it will use the second skill. Okay. So we roll to see which skill is going to use. Mm -hmm. I roll a one, so he's going for web. So the web targets the furthest uh, enemy to him. So the furthest from the spider. One, two, three, I think it's a Helion. One, two, three. Yeah, it's the Helion. Mm -hmm. So the, this skill has a range of one. And the spider has a speed of two. So it will move here. So he tried to move until it reaches the range. Yep. And now he will use the skill against the Helion. It has an accuracy of nine. Helion has a dodge of one. So if it rolls up to eight, it's a hit. Yeah. So we roll for monsters, as we said. Yep. It's, it's a, a hit. hit. So it deals uh, only one point of damage mm -hmm. with a web, but it stuns you for two turns. Ouch. Jeez. And uh, it also marks you for two turns. <laughs> okay. This, yeah, this feels very familiar. But wait, Johnny, that's <laughs> not all. <laughs> <laughs> and buffs you for two turns, that's all. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's fine. I can take yeah. that. So let me give you a quick explanation about those. So at the start of your turn, you will remove one of each token. Mm -hmm. What those tokens mean is that uh, every time you remove a, a stun token, it means that you lose one of your two actions for that turn. Yep. Uh, the mark is just something that as long as you are marked, some skills from mm -hmm. some enemies might uh, have added effects against you. Mm -hmm. And debuff means that as long as you are debuffed, enemies attack you with plus one critical chance. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if, okay, if, so if I ever need to hit you, Johnny, I'll get extra damage. So that's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so next initiative, it's a monster again. So now it's the bone soldier. He's yeah. defensive, so he will go for his first kill, graveyard slash. And he will try to attack the most wounded. Uh, so I've only got eight health right now. The bounty hunter. Right? Yeah, I think that's me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So where are you here? Yes, here. Yeah. And the bounty hunter is here. So it has a, a range of one and a speed of one. So yeah. It actually, because. Yeah, he's on high ground, so yeah. he doesn't need to attack. So if you see here, this uh, location, he has these uh, arrows on the side. This means this is high ground. So uh, everyone that is in this area gains plus one uh, range and plus one accuracy oh, good. when yeah. attacking. Uh, so, so he basically can reach you from where he is, no matter, because uh, yep. he has a plus one uh, range. Amazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So he also has an accuracy of nine. I believe you have also a dodge of yeah. one, right? Yes. So he needs to roll up to eight. Let's see. Uh, it's uh, nine for the it's high ground. It's a plus one accuracy, so it's an accuracy of ten minus it's a it's a nine accuracy nine because he's right. on high ground. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! That's okay. a, oh that's my a god! <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god! <laughs> that's great. Okay. So that means you suffer nine damage. Nine? Yeah. Oh my that's god! Great. Oh, wheels. And you also suffer one uh, stress. One stress because you... I'm, you suffer. you suffer the I'm suffering stress so myself. If, if, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if there was uh, any other hero in the same area as you, they would suffer plus one stress too because they witnessed the, yeah. the blow. And uh, this works the other way around. So when you uh, deal a critical hit, uh, you recover stress, and uh, all other heroes that are in the same area as you, they recover stress uh, too. So, yeah, this is something like the video. So you reach zero life, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now you take the, this, yeah. <laughs> you put it there. Oh. <laughs> so that was every, quick. Every time you, you suffer any amount of wounds, now that you are at zero, you roll this die. If you roll a skull, you are dead. This could be a short let's play. Right. <laughs> 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 okay, hero. So now it's my turn. Uh, I cannot heal you. I will uh, suffer one damage from uh, this uh, light here. So, so the next monster that is gonna play is this guy, and he is most likely attack you. 
So what I'm going to do... Uh, I thought I would uh, just swap stances and uh, do just that and uh, not play, but this won't uh, affect anything. So uh, I'm going for... Uh, I'm going to try to uh, use my tracking shot uh, against uh, this guy here. So nine... Yeah, it's a hit. Okay, so this is uh, two damage for him. And uh, it's uh, three turns buff for me. So this means that uh, I gain plus one critical chance as long as I am buffed. This is what buff does. Mm -hmm. And uh, next I'm going to use my pistol shot uh, on the same target. Uh, an accuracy of nine. Come on. Okay, eight. This is a hit, not a hit, of course, and uh, this is uh, five more damage to him. Okay, this was a uh, nice turn, I think. Mm -hmm. So I end my turn here. I suffer the stress uh, because uh, of the uh, the area hazard, yep. and uh, I'm done. So next one is a monster. Okay, let's see what, <laughs> what happens now. So he is. Uh, Thankfully, he's in the range stance, so he will. He's using the clumsy axe blade. Yeah. And he will target the farthest uh, hero. So the farthest hero is one, two, one, two, three is the Helion. So this uh, clumsy axe blade he has a range of one, and he has a speed of one. So he will try to reach the Helion, but he cannot uh, move uh, more than one space. So he will just stop here and then uh, end his turn. Yeah. And that, uh, that's it. Uh, there's another monster, but we have killed it, so this card goes away. And now it's uh, the best of step. Yeah. So I believe my choice right now is pretty Help. clear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we really need to take out yeah. that spider. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking for the exact same thing. <laughs> Okay, I will move here because I need to be in range and I will use my Divine Grace on the Bounty Hunter and try to heal him. So let me roll to see. Yeah, it's a heal. So heal actually works the exact same way. So if you see I have an accuracy of 12, so chances are that I'm going actually to heal you. Mm -hmm. But it also has a critical chance of 3. So if I rolled up to 3, I will heal you even more. Now I just heal you for three points. Okay, that is yeah. fine by me. I am no longer on death blow. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> okay. That, that so... was the plan. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the the end of the first round. So basically now we reshuffle all the initiative cards and we go to round two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, monsters do. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Okay, yeah, the Weber, uh, let he, he goes for, we all, okay, yeah, let let's see, well. it's an 8, so it will go for a uh, bite again, uh, we have a marked target, so it will prioritize on the marked target, uh, which is the Helion, yep. and uh, it will move because it needs to be at zero range, it moves here and attacks uh, Helion with an accuracy of 8, Three. Okay, it's a hit. <clears throat> uh, so this will deal two damage to Helion and uh, two additional damage because you are marked. Yeah. And and you also get uh, one blight. Become blighted for three turns. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going okay. swimmingly. So, uh, uh, a side rule. So whenever it's your turn, uh, you can use any amount of uh, provisions uh, for yeah. free. And uh, if you see here, provisions you have also some active effects uh, in addition to the to the exploration effects. So the potions you can use on potion to remove all blight from you uh, or gain strength and etc. Yeah. Okay. So monster again. <laughs> okay. This is the one I'm scared about. <laughs> yeah, he, he he he's not very durable, but he hits hard. Yeah. Yeah, so he's uh, defensive, so he's going for Graveyard's last against the most wounded target again, so it's the, uh, the bounty hunter again. 
Yep. So yeah, if you, if you won't move, he can reach you from uh, from a top where he stands. Yeah. So it's an accuracy of uh, sorry, an accuracy yeah. of uh, ten versus your uh, one. It's an up to nine. So please roll a ten. Hopefully. Hey! Yeah, roll the <laughs> so it's it's a risk. <laughs> Wow! Yes. <laughs> I needed that. Yeah, All right. No, but, uh, revenge okay, time. You can have your revenge against him. Uh, I think I should kill him. Definitely, really. Yeah, mess him up, Wales. Uh, how much health he got? If you, if you check your skills, I believe you have a very nice combo now for him. Um. Mm hmm. Oh, I can come hither. Yep. With that, I mean it's. Yeah. I was going to say I have a better chance of actually killing him with Collect Bounty if I move up to him, but it's not quite enough, is it? If you see, come hither. If you hit him, you actually pull him to areas closer to you. Yeah, so this is another... Oh, <laughs> sorry, yeah. The shuffling. Yeah. So when you, so when you pull someone, uh, you pull him on the board, okay? So he will come two spaces towards you, so we'll come in the same area as you. So, and then you can use your Collect Bounty. Yes, yeah, <laughs> perfect. And uh, additionally, when uh, when you push or pull someone, or you are pushed or pulled by someone, uh, in addition of moving on the board, you also move oh, on, the, on the stance uh, target. Okay, so this uh, shuffling also works uh, like the video game, uh, even if we have this uh, board. So mm -hmm. if you pull the monster here, the, the monster will be pulled also. Uh, so it has so it has a double effect. When you pull a monster, you you affect you know the the positioning on the board, but at the same time you affect how the monster will yeah. behave because you change stance Got it. on that monster. Mm -hmm. Okay, well let's also, let's let's pull them hither. Um, yeah, do it. And also yeah. mark it, which will give yeah, you that'd be great. bonus damage, right? Yeah, perfect stuff. Yeah. Perfect stuff. Perfect. Okay, so <laughs> dodge of one on that thing is it? Uh, I think he has a dodge of zero now. Zero. Love that. All right. So I just need a nine or lower. Yes. That'll do. Yeah, that's a six. Not a crit. Um, yeah, but it'll do it. So he's he's going to become marked. He's going to get pulled to me, and he's going to take two damage. Nice. nice. And then I'm going to smash him in the face. <laughs> so. Yeah. And now collect your bounty. <laughs> bounty time. So now, once again, I just need not a, not a 10, basically. Oh. Wait. Is it currently a crit, right? Yep. Yeah, so that's actually... Oh, we've lost someone. <laughs> oh. I think Agra's just, uh, uh, just dropped, but we'll crack on. Uh, so that's yeah. 10 damage. Yep. Uh, which absolutely kills him. But I'm going to lose a stress is the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's also. And uh, ah. oh, I'm on my own here. Oh, that sucks. Oh damn! Yeah, I first, I I thought you had a chance at uh, de-stressing another hero. Yeah, I'm on my own at the moment. I'm... You know what, Wheels? We'll, we'll take we'll take the victories as and when we yeah. can get. <laughs> I'm a lone yeah. bounty hunter, you know. Exactly. So that was a nice turn. Mm -hmm. And now next one goes uh, hero. So we, oh, great, that's me. Yeah, Johnny again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got Agris back. back. Hello. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally did myself up for some reason. You missed uh, my heroic kill. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, I could uh, see the board. <laughs> that's that's it. great. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, I can reduce these markers down by one. Oh, it's so. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So. I'm only debuffed and marked and stunned for one turn. Stun means I've only got the one action, right? Exactly. Yes. And, and, and those and will give you one damage. Blighted, which gives me one damage. Uh, would anyone mind if I spent a potion to get rid of the other two levels of blight? Yeah, yeah we can, one, can potion. one potion. All blight, so it's... Yeah, great. So. And this is a free action. You can do it right now and just great. get rid of this. Nice. Wonderful. Uh, so then, since I'm on the same space as the Weber, I think I'll just I'll just use Wicked Hack. Yeah. Because cool. um, that's yeah uh, makes the most sense. Um, now I'm debuffed, so that debuffed is it doesn't matter for you. It's okay. uh, when uh, your uh, when the monsters attack you, they gain one critical against you. Oh, okay. Great. So my accuracy on this is still nine. Yes. Perfect. Okay. 
Good to go. That's a six, so that is a hit. Uh, that's yeah. a hit. So I'll do seven damage. That's a dead. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, cool. Nice. So we have only one monster left. That that's going. Nice. Yep. Okay. Yeah. My turn. I'm going to take this damage. Keep in mind something that's uh, also important: that if we kill the last monster, we immediately leave the room, so we don't loot those. Oh. Uh. Those so what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna loot this one now just to be sure. <laughs> and uh, this is I'm going to roll for provision. I found the provision. It's uh, just another potion. Oh, I'll buy potion back. <laughs> All good. Yeah. Okay, not so refund. Yeah, and yeah, and uh, okay. I'm gonna use my grape shot plus because it's the only skill that can reach uh, zero distance. Uh, Okay. Target, target. Okay. It's an accuracy of eight. I'm rolling for it. Is a hit. So it is uh, three damage on this guy. Cool. Yeah. And I am done. And okay. now he plays. Yeah. Okay. Now he he's the aggressive stance, which is the stance he likes. So uh, we need to roll to see which skills he's going to yep. use. Okay, Nick. I roll the four. For uh, so this is uh, the axe blade. Oh. No, no, it's dead weight. Yeah, yeah, dead weight. Sorry. Uh, he will attack the closest, which is me. Oh yeah. He he's on uh, he's on the range. So he has an accuracy of nine. Nick, are you gonna roll for the monster? Roll for it. Nine. Okay. Th this is a miss because I have a dodge of one. Great. So yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm cool. It also it also no, it pushes me away. Sorry. Okay, and uh, Vestal? I believe I'm going to... Ah, let me check, I believe. Uh, yep, I will use, uh, first of all, a Divine Grace on the Bounty Hunter again, as my first action. I, I think that's a good well, idea. <laughs> Not that I'm biased. I, I heal you for three more. Lovely stuff. And as my second action, I will use Judgment on the Bone Defender. Cool. So that has yeah. an accuracy of nine. Let's see. Yep, I hit you for... Critical. Yeah. It's yeah. a crit. Yeah, it's a crit. Beautiful. Yeah, so if you see, this has a, a critical chance of one, but because the light is down here, yeah, we gain plus one critical chance. So this is uh, uh, the two is a uh, crit. Great. So okay. yeah, eight damage to him. I heal myself for two, and I also recover one stress because of the critical. Lovely stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And okay, we, we didn't loot this one, but no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. We cleared the room. Yeah. So we we all get one experience point. Mm -hmm. So now the thing is that if we like, we can immediately leave the dungeon and call it a day for the quest and get <laughs> it's, the one. It's something. <laughs> or we can continue exploring and hopefully find a second or even a third layer and gain more XP. Yeah. So if we think we are in a bad shape. Uh, we can rest here. Yeah. Uh, we have we have this campfire supplies, yeah. so we can rest only only, only once during the, the dungeon. And uh, how resting works? So we are in this uh, room that we have cleared. We we need to be in a cleared room to rest. And then you see here the quest says that we have twelve uh, resting points. So by spending the campfire, uh, we have twelve points uh, as a group to recover uh, 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 among, uh, yeah, life and stress as we like. So we can either discuss it and say, okay, we rest here, we spend this, we have 12 points, uh, who needs, uh, how many points do you need, uh, and all that. Or if we can decide, we can just split it equally uh, by four and say we gain uh, three points each and do whatever you like. Okay. So, do you think uh, we need to rest, or we can just uh, keep exploring uh, and all that? If, we, if there's, I think for the sake of showing it off on the video, we yeah. should rest, right? Well, also, there's there's mm -hmm. three layers, and we got 
Yes. I, I got a bit battered in the first one. So if we rested, <laughs> yeah, no. tried to do the second one, and then maybe called it there if we felt a bit nasty after that, at least we got two XP out of three, right? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so let's say we rest. So we remove this. And now we have uh, 12 points. So uh, from the start, uh, I'm going to take just two points to recover the two points of stress and do whatever you, you feel like with the rest. Yeah. Uh, I think Helion and Bug Hydra are most uh, battered. Yeah, uh, if I if I take four, that puts me back up to ten health. Okay, cool. Sure. Okay. So that's six so far. So we've got six left. Yep. Yeah. How stressed out are you? So Bessie? we have yeah. <laughs> oh, you're on four as well. It seems like pretty much everyone's on four apart from our high women. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah. So Helion, are you going? Yeah, I think you might need some uh, health. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I take six four. You could take the remaining six if you want. If you're the if you're the damage yeah. dealer. Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. I thank you. That's very generous. <laughs> six. Okay. Cool. So uh, rest is done. Uh, yeah. Keep in mind that these uh, conditions uh, stay in between uh, fights. Yeah. Yeah, they don't cry or count now, but uh, they will start counting uh, yeah. during the next uh, fight. When we end the yeah. So now, you see, again, we have an interesting uh, choice here. So we have a room here that we don't know what it is. So we can scout to see if it is a lair or not. Or we can just go there and explore and... Yeah. Uh, the, 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 other, uh, the other option is to move here and take our chances with uh, these two rooms, so we can move here, then scout, and uh, reveal two rooms that hopefully one uh, is going to be a lair. Do we need that to roll to the dice in between this space and the next one, then? So yeah. if, if we scout here, uh, we will roll only one die to move uh, towards this area. But uh, mm. if we don't, we, uh, we will roll two. So, yeah, do you, do you think... Uh, we should scout here. I don't mind taking and a. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is a this is a, a lair. Maybe we're we'll like. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind taking a stress just to oh, just to okay. make sure that we've got okay. all we need. So do we all agree to scout? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I'll, I'll okay. take a stress. Let's take the stress. Okay. Let's just yeah. That's everyone, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm flipping it. Well, oh, it's an empty room. Classic. Okay. So that. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't something. Okay, so now we know that uh, one of these uh, is definitely a lair, mm -hmm. because there are two more lairs. Uh, so I think we should move uh, no, down we'll this move. corridor. Yeah. Yeah. But we only roll so one dice, just... right? So it's fine. <laughs> yeah. We got something out of it. If you want to backtrack, when you are backtracking, you're not rolling any dice, you just suffer one stress. Okay. Yeah, That's this good. is also, yeah. Aye. Okay. So one dice. I got stressful darkness. Mm -hmm. Okay, I rolled the curio, and because I'm a hoarder, I will recover uh, one stress. Nice. Yeah, hey, there it is. Yeah. I think. So, okay. bounce under. Yeah. How how much stress do we have? Ten. Is that how much we can take? Yes. Before uh, we have you take, a. You take basically twenty. You take ten, and then you become either afflicted or virtuous, yeah. and then you reset the, your counter. But if you reach ten again, uh, then you are dead. Heart attack. Yeah. Uh, so I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the verge of going up to seven stress. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's an option. <laughs> we could we could take one minus one light and then use a torch at some point, right? Yeah, we can do that. Although, although, although uh, if we let it drop, oh, you can use your torch. You roll the stressful darkness, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you can you, you can use. There's another option. You can use a torch, and it's all fine. Okay, should we do that? Yeah, let's just use yeah. torch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go ahead, and you go ahead and. You know, I'm gonna drop it here. Okay. Nice. Okay, I got um, I got blockading rubble. We've got tools, right? So, yeah. Mind if I spend a shovel? Go ahead. Shovel it up, friend. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so I rolled the curio. I'm gonna go recklessly and check what it is. I'm not spending our last torch on the curio. And it's a strong box, okay. A long forgotten strong box since in the cold stone floor. Okay. So yeah, it's five gold for us. Do it. Like it. Yeah, yeah. I'm very like. 
another wisdom cloak for me. Oh my god. But you are bleeding now. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah, I bleed. That's true. Sure. Of curious, this is by far the best run that we have ever made. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Huge. And we have played the game a lot. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. And now I'm, I'm also drawing a trinket. Okay, so this is a trinket. And now we can talk about how trinkets work. Uh, so in order to make them a bit more interesting, we have them uh, we have them being activated. So if you see here, uh, trinket has uh, both a good and a bad side. It has this blue and the red side. So when I get the trinket, I take it and equip it here, and it's on the good side. So I have this uh, blight charm, and uh, what it says is uh, when you hit with a skill, causing an, uh, an addition uh, blight. So I can use it when I hit an enemy and uh, cause blight to them. So when I choose to use my trinket, uh, I flip it on the bad side. So now I have the, uh, the bad effects. So in order to gain the benefits again, I need to, at some point to trigger this bad effect, which gives mm. me minus one turn to the condition uh, I'm causing. And uh, if I do that at some point, then I'm going to flip it back here and keep going like that. Okay. So I use it once for uh, to get the benefits, and then it gives me uh, a debuff, and I need to, to trigger it. It will. Uh, so I can flip it again back to the, to, to the positive side. Mm -hmm. And uh, this quirk, I'm on guard, so whenever I take uh, wound, I, whenever they damage, I suffer one less wound, which is great. I okay. thought you said avant-garde yeah. for a second there. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, this might be my, my best round ever. Nick. Wow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, and you rolled the rubble? I rolled the rubble, so I will take one damage and one stress. We don't and we have move. tools. <laughs> yeah, okay. And we move uh, down here. Okay, so we stop. Whenever we move down a long corridor, we need to stop here. So <coughs> again, right? Yeah, it would be a good uh, option to throw. <laughs> Although you're gonna go up to seven, and yeah, okay, if you're okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, let's do okay. it. Okay, so I vote for scouting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. We're being quote unquote safe. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. we just you know, let's find Ooh, the right yeah. room. Yeah, we found the lair, okay. Right. Yeah, so so we can go grab this one, and then now we know that the last lair is down there. So Oof. I think uh, yeah, if we beat this one, we, uh, we can call it a day and uh, return to, to the hammer. I think that's a good idea. That makes sense. Oh. Okay, so let's uh, roll one exploration die and to move towards this uh, room. Yeah. Nothing. Great. Okay. Ugh. Hungry. <laughs> Uh, I'm also hungry, <laughs> as is my cat. Okay. By the looks of things. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Well, you're you're first anyway in the um, the stance order. Oh, I guess it's my food then. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I actually think you should. I think you should because um, yeah, I agree. You'll, yeah. So that means I'll go hungry and lose two. Yeah, me too. No, I didn't realize you also rolled oh, hungry. God. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've been in here a while, you know, this this dungeon. It's getting late. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Got snacks to eat. <laughs> okay, so now we're in the slayer. Let's check out which one is this time. And it's the the hidden fountain. Cool. Oh, cool. Let's, let's find the hidden fountain. That's here. Here it that sounds good. Here it is. Uh, yeah, that's going to be huge. So I am here. As my let's start drawing monsters. And I am Ooh. uh oh. A brigand blood letter. Yeah. Oh no. It's this guy. <laughs> oh no. Oh he's a big boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> At least this means there are fewer monsters now. Yeah. This, is, this is true. Yeah. Uh, I mean, That's he's got so 24 hit points. Mm. Yeah, he counts us too. <laughs> oh, and uh, I'm a uh, Our cultist cultist. brawler. God, he's bleeding, oh, isn't he? Yeah, I remember him. He loves a bit of Oof. bleeding. Okay. I think we can get him. Let's see. <laughs> 
Yeah. Good. I, I admire your um, <laughs> We've got enthusiasm. The floor, it's easy. <laughs> okay, the good thing is that whenever we end our turn here, we recover our heals, so mm -hmm. that's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately, okay, all of so... us sprint there. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You see Oops. one thing that, that one thing that we forgot to mention is if you see in the areas they have some dots. Mm -hmm. Those dots indicate how many minis can be in this ah. area. Ah, okay. Yes. So this one he he counts as two. Right. So only one of us can yeah. actually get so into face to face with him. If, if we have a situation like that, no one else can oh, enter in this area. You can, you can pass through, but you cannot end. You cannot end right. your sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Heroes go. Okay. Well. Um, Bound the hunter. I think. You can see. <laughs> see now the problem is, if I if I were to run into the healing fountain, the only real skill I could use to do any damage is come hither. <laughs> or I could give him the mark of death, I guess. Yeah. Now the good the good thing is uh, that uh, this guy the blood letter uh, is resistant to oh no he's resistant to push oh to suffer yeah he's resistant so if you if you uh, use come hit on him he will move only one space he won't uh, enter okay. the same area. oh okay yeah um, and also cannot stun him yeah so maybe that's but actually, mark of death. It's not a. It's not a bad. Yeah, action. it would debuff him. Yeah. Which is which is handy. Yeah. 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 Screw it. We spawn. We spawn that hits on him. Then. Screw it. And you will also buff yourself. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Mark of death. Um. I need to yeah. get a ten or lower, but he's got a dodge of zero. zero. All right. I think he's, he's can't yeah, fail. Zero. There's a six. No but crit. Yeah. Nice. Um, although yeah. there isn't a crit, so it's fine. Don't know why I rolled. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to get a buff of two, and he's going to get marked three and debuff one. Let me give you a buff. There you go. He's immune to stun this guy. He's immune, yeah. He's immune to stun, yeah. Yes, he is. Unfortunately. Dang it. Okay. Uh, another hero then. Alright. Yeah. I was thinking, uh, with my move of two, I would zip over he here, excuse me, and then try and make him bleed with uh, if it bleeds. So there is two problems. Uh, ah, okay. First, <laughs> <laughs> you you are stunned. That means that you. Oh, I'm stunned. Of course. Yeah. This Damn will it. go away, but we you need to skip one of your actions. Yes. That yeah, is a problem. Is and, uh, the oh, and also, is that you, your speed is two, so you cannot. Oh, uh, I couldn't. Sorry, I didn't realize that these were two separate yeah, yeah, yeah. spaces. Okay, well, uh, in that case, I might just do the cowardly thing and move to the healing fountain to yeah. heal up. It yeah. feels like there's yeah. little else I can Smart. really do. Exactly. So, <laughs> okay. why not? So, Although, looking at it, I'm the only one that actually needs to be in the same space as him, right? Um, yeah. I think. Yeah. Oh, I also need to take my health, actually, don't I? Yes, I was going to say. Oh, okay, you're free. He goes, Sweet. We yeah. missed the, the chance to crit him. That's okay. Let's okay, roll. so he's in the aggressive. Yeah, yeah, roll. Seven. He Seven is. Uh, yeah, punishment. So he's attacking the closest. Okay, so now there are uh, three uh, targets that are uh, equally close to him. So when this uh, occurs, uh, the monster will always choose the, the hero that's highest in the uh, stance. Uh, uh -huh. the, yeah. So he so, will move here, yeah. and he will attack the bounty hunter. It's a good thing I healed. How <laughs> 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 much damage is this so do? an accuracy of 9, minus 1, that it's your dodge, it's 8. He rolls a 4, so yeah, it hits you. Uh, this attack actually does no damage to you, but it gives you bleed. Oh, he's not much of a damage dealer, actually. He's just sort of a tank and does a few effects to yeah. you. Yeah, okay. but it, that yeah. bleed is two damage for three turns, so... And, yeah, and also you suffer one stress. And it also gives you one Fantastic. stress. <laughs> <laughs> My character is okay. on the edge. Next, to it's another. It's a brawler. Okay, he's, the, he's in the rage stance, so he will build a stumbling scratch. It's yep. a good thing. And he will attack the closest, uh, which is, I believe, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. So he has a speed of two and he needs to be one away. So he will move one, two, but he cannot reach. That's so, good. Uh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> now the high one. Yeah, it's my time. Okay, so I take one damage for bleed, one damage from uh, light. The light goes away. So where am I? I'm here. Okay, so. Okay, I will do my typical combo. I will tracking shot this guy. One, woohoo! This is a critical hit. So it's uh, three damage to him and minus one stress for me. And I also buff myself again for three. So now, uh, <clears throat> as you see, uh, I buff myself. Uh, that doesn't mean that I increase my already. Uh, the buff that you already had, I get in uh, another stack. So now I have plus two. Oh, wow. Okay. As long as uh, I'm buff, yeah. So, yeah, and the next one is going to be the, uh, the pistol shot with the accuracy of nine, minus all oh, ten. Yeah, that was a miss. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a hard miss. So, fun. yeah, that was for me. Was this bleed on one or two? Sorry, I accidentally scrolled it. <laughs> uh, Eight, three. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah it's, it's two points of damage to three turns. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, Madman goes now. And he's on support, so eight. we'll see what eight. Eight is. Accusation. Yeah, accusation. Yeah, he's targeting the most stressed, but I think uh, it's messed up. Yeah, it's or... me. No, oh, it's stressed. the bounty hunter. Oh, oh <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm very stressed. Yeah. The bounty okay, hunter is having a bad day. <laughs> so he moves here and uh, accuses you for something that he knows you did <laughs> at some point. I mean, there's a list. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Two. Uh, no, it's not a critical hit, thankfully. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, but it is two damage and uh, it's also two stress for you and uh, the buff for two turns. One damage, was it, sorry? One damage, yeah. It was... Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, one damage, yeah. Two stress, that puts me on nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your result is about to be tested. Yeah, hopefully I'm virtuous. Okay. You're all there. <laughs> <laughs> So it's my turn, right? Mm -hmm. uh, me. So this is not needed. What I can do. Uh, I believe I will try to to hit the blood letter, maybe. Mm. Mm. The madman will be in. Uh, they're both. The, yeah, they're both stressing us up. Yeah. They they don't hit hard, but they stress mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. So actually, I will move here, and I will try to use a uh, dazzling light on the madman. Uh, it, but he has a night a dodge of two, right? Okay. So I need up to seven. Let's try. Yeah. It's a hit. <laughs> yeah. Very good. So that's only two damage, but it gives us plus one light. And I stun him for one turn. Uh, he's immune, unfortunately. Uh, uh, yeah. no, the one. Oh, the Madman, uh -huh. yeah, okay. Cool. So yeah. the stun in the monsters, uh, it doesn't work like the hero. So when the that monster's turn comes, he, he will just skip. Oh, I love that. Big fan of that. <laughs> <laughs> Because actually the masters don't have actions; they just try to do the skill. Well, I guess they've they've just got one action anyway, haven't they? So they still lose yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, I'm back. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, I might. Yeah. First, first thing uh, you always do is. Uh, oh God! Your, yeah, of course. Uh, your conditions. Yeah. So that's two damage so from bleeding. Take, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and this just go down to. So I, I crit higher and everyone crits higher on me this turn, basically. Yeah, yes. Okay, so 
Who, are we more worried about the madman or the cultist? Because <laughs> the madman will keep his turn. So for yeah. now, I believe the yeah, that's a fair point. Black. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and come hither the cultist and, and smash him in the face. Um, nice. It yeah. worked well last time, so let's try it again. So I'm gonna use come hither on the cultist brawler. He's got a dodge of zero, mm -hmm. so I need a nine or lower. But I crit on a one. Exactly. That's a five, so that'll do it. So that's two damage to mm -hmm. him. He gets marked for two turns, and I pull him two. So that like, oh, that actually changes where the Brigham Blood Letter is. How? So which which of these two is his position? The Blood Letter. Yeah, the, the first. The one first always. one always. Okay. So yeah. you have to get him right to the back before he starts using punishment only. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And now that I've done and that. He also becomes uh, marked for three. Now that he's marked, I can collect bounty on him, do even more damage. Yeah. So, um, the thing, need a... yeah, the thing that he's not in the aggressive stance anymore is that we don't uh, have the chance to use point blank shot. That this is, yeah. Oh yeah. Would... Okay. <laughs> uh, right. So, I am going to hit the cops brawler with the collect bounty. So I need a nine to hit, and I'll crit on a two. Yeah, plus one from the lines. Uh, okay. So that's a five, so that's it's a just hit. a standard hit. Yes. Um, so uh, that is going to do six damage, plus two because he's marked, and plus one because he's yes, human. Eight. Yes, exactly. So he's absolutely <laughs> yeah, yeah. pummeled into the floor. Great. Exactly. He's beaten to a pulp. Good job. Get out of it. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Nice, okay. Cheers again. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Um, let's oh, when I get see. Hmm. What would be better here? Uh, I mean, I can... I can move in and just go for straight damage with Wicked Hack, or from where I am, I can uh, try and make him bleed. Hmm. What do we reckon? Does anyone? Ah, that's a point. Does anyone need to heal? Because uh, I can get out of this room. Um, oh, but the, we've got space for one more anyway. Yeah. Okay. In that fine. case, I might, I might just do uh, if it bleeds. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which is an accuracy of nine. That's an eight. So that nice. is a hit, no crit. You could so that's do five damage. Could do breakthrough as well. To be fair. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you apply mm -hmm. bleed, right? Uh, yes. Bleed uh, how much? To bleed for two turns. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we, I might... we need a um, Yeah, if I can do breakthrough, then I might as well, right? Yeah, so if you see break, breakthrough, uh, you can use it from where you stand, and it will uh, pull you. Uh, you can hit him, and it will pull you uh, towards him. Awesome. Right. So that means so that means you won't uh, heal at the end of your turn. That's the. Uh, uh, but his okay. it's a downside. His, his space is full though, right? So yeah, yeah. Right now he, he you will not move. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's all good. Ah. Yeah. It's okay, He's yeah. too Let's too big it. for his own good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Here we go. That's a miss. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The thing is see... that the self effects yeah. still apply. Uh, regardless if you hit or miss, the self effect of the skills always apply. So okay. you don't move here, but you pull yourself up here in the stance. Okay. Cool. Sorry about it, Wales. Uh, yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah. yeah. So now, so now you heal as planned. I can. Yeah. I can. I can <laughs> so still. Now. I can still do all my skills. Okay. Great. Support's the only one I can't be in. So now is the blood leather again. And he will use the Reign of Whips. Okay. I'm glad you got rid of that one now, because that would have been a great if you'd used it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so he, he attacks both of you. So how we do that, he, he rolls only one die, and we just, you know, uh, yep. check your dodges. Lovely. So he rolled a two, so I believe that's a hit. <laughs> for yeah. So you both take one damage. 
Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to be this uh, guy. It's a hit uh, for Helion, but it's a crit for uh, Bounty Hunter. Yeah. Uh, be- because the monster gets plus one critical from the light and I've plus got one critical debuff. from your uh, debuff. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh-huh. So it's, uh, it's now, uh, as you see, it's two damage for you. And uh, you suffer one stress because he critical Uh-oh. You. And, <laughs> and uh, Helion, because uh, he's in the same area, will suffer uh, one stress uh, too because uh, you witnessed the yep. blow. Yeah. You saw me get so now you're uh, you're at ten. So that means uh, you need to check your resolve. Uh, how this works is uh, you roll the die. Uh, you have twenty percent chance to be virtuous. Uh, that means if you roll one to two, you have become virtuous. If you roll uh, more than that, you become a flip. Well, here we go. Oh, that's a ten. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So so you draw one affliction. Let's there see go. what we got. I'm irrational. That makes sense. Irrational. Yeah. At the oh, start of your good. turn, you will, roll, you will roll the die and you will shuffle. Oh, God. Uh, also, your uh, stress now goes back to zero. Okay. Oh, Zero is also a camera <laughs> angle. That's fine. But now, if I get to ten, I have a heart attack. So that's good. Like, yep. So the Reign of Witch, what, uh, what also did is uh, plus one stress, so uh, you will get the plus one stress from the Reign of Witch uh, an additional, and also bleed one damage for three turns. So you will get additional one for three turns. Uh, now the Helion is resistant to bleed, that means uh, you will take for one less turn, so it is for two, two turns uh, for you. This guy right. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking three damage yeah. a turn now. Okay, Muddy, but uh, he's uh, stunned, so this is removed and he skips his, his turn. Lovely. And now it's my turn, naturally. I take a damage from bleed. This buff goes away. This buff, sorry, goes away. Okay, and now I'm uh, over there. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I guess I will move here and start healing myself. And uh, yeah, I'm going to move here as my first action. And I'm gonna use my pistol shot to this guy. Five, okay, this is a hit. It's uh, five damage to him. And uh, he, ah, he, he's, he's marked, so it's two additional damage. You're welcome. Great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was my turn. I will recover three life. Because of the fountain mm-hmm. and uh, Vestal Blue. Okay. So I believe I will try to do the same thing again. I will try Dazzling Light on the Madman. I need the seven. Yeah. And actually, <laughs> it's a crit. Hey. Ooh. Yeah, it's a crit. So that means four damage for him. That's great. Yeah. The thing is that we get plus one light, so no more plus one crit for ah, us. Okay. <laughs> okay. No one plus one crit for them either, so... Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so that was my first action. As my second action, who needs healing? Oh, I'm fine. I'm still... Oh, no, you're the lowest, yeah. actually. Yeah, you need healing. <laughs> okay, I will heal myself. Good idea. Yeah, I'm just sitting here chilling with the guy. <laughs> <laughs> with the yeah. blood letter. Okay, I use Divine Grace on myself and I heal three, and that was my turn. Nice. Okay. okay. Onwards to round three. No, oh, okay. I believe we can finish him this round. I hope yeah. so. All right, you're first now, Johnny. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay, um, well, okay, so first I lose, is it one or two points? Uh, it's it's one, yeah, you always, you always uh, see how many drops the number is. Uh, yeah, so, oh, I meant, the, I meant the damage I was yeah, taking. So, look, this is a, yeah, this one, is two uh, drops, so oh, I take two it, damage. Oh, yeah. God. yes, I understand now, sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, and so... <clears throat> I'm tempted to get in there and just... Oh, no, I can't. The room's still full. So I think I'll just do a repeat of last time. Mm-hmm. 
So I'll try for if it bleeds first. Yeah. That's a miss. <laughs> so you can use it again. Yeah. Now that you missed, you can use it the second time. Oh, okay, great. Uh, let's do that then. That's another miss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. Yeah. It's me. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Don't forget okay. you're irrational. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Keep forgetting how irrational I am. Uh, so. <laughs> we don't. It's a three, so I'm going to move one sound forward. That's fine. Just just back where we started. This, to be yes. fair, I think of all of us, this probably affects me the least because there's only one stance where I can't do all my stuff. So. Mm. And even mm. even then, it's only one of my skills that gets affected. So that's 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 fine. I don't mind being a bit irrational. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so come here. How much does that do? That does two damage. So uh, so to begin, uh, it's oh, yeah, uh, three damage yep. for bleeding, and uh, these conditions just uh, go away. I'm gonna take it for you. Okay. So. Hmm. Oh, I need to tip these down as well, don't I? Uh, so I can't kill the madman, so I might as well just focus all my damage on the blood letter, I think. Uh, so I am gonna, although I can't get in there because of the vessel. Mm. That's a pain. Um, huh, okay. Hmm. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use come hither. No, actually. Oh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> you have options. <laughs> yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come hither on the madman just to drop his health a little bit. If I get a crit, then fine. It's yeah, okay. it's a one in ten or something. Oh no, it's not even a. It's it's just a zero now, isn't it? There's no crit buffs anymore. Yeah, we know buffed. That's fine. I'll still mark them and do two damage. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to come hither on the madman, and then I'll mark with death the big boy. Um, okay. So I'm going to use um, my come hither, so it's accuracy nine. Does the madman have two dodge, should he say? Yeah, he has a bit dodgy. Okay, so I need seven or lower. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a, that is a crit. Oh no, it would have been a crit, sorry. Had it yeah. been a light. <laughs> God damn. Okay, um, so that is going to do two damage to him. He's going to yeah. get pulled to the front. Nice. Okay. But he's going to die, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, he is marked for two turns. So you pull him. Ah, you cannot pull him. Yeah, you cannot. He stays where he is. Yeah, he's just, yeah. He's yeah. just marked in stance. Yeah. Bounces off the big man. Um, okay. And then I'll put the mark of death on the, uh, on the big man. Uh, which is accuracy ten, and he doesn't have any dodge, Oops. so it's, oh crap! Yeah. Uh, so nice. that is going to be uh, targeted for three turns and debuffed for one turn. Yeah, I might have changed something there. I might have changed his um, bleed die by mistake. No worries. Oh, yes. we'll, we'll kill him. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> I heard a, I heard a click. So yeah. I'm... that's okay. Maybe it was on one or two or three. Yeah. No problem. Okay, so yeah, so you also heal uh, three mm -hmm. from the fountain, and uh, Madman's is done. Okay, he's Just keeping his turn again. Oh, I love that stun. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. <laughs> My turn. Just as useful in the video game. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay, so I think I can finish off uh, him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to pistol shot him. Let's do it five. This is a hit. It's uh, nine plus two. It's eleven damage because he's marked. Mm -hmm. Thank think we're getting bounty hunter. So he's okay. dead. Oh, is it not? Is it not five? Is is nine not the crit? Um, five plus two. Oh yeah, sorry. What? When I'm doing it. Yeah, 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 sorry. Confused. Oh, uh, free, so this, yeah, yeah. So I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to shot him. And we leave him with... He bleeds for two... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna just try to shot on him. 
two. This is not a critical, no, uh, but it's uh, two damage. Perfect. So, so he's gonna die from uh, bleeding. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. The weapon that cuts yeah. on its own. <laughs> 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 and I right. myself and healing myself. And uh, yeah, that was my turn. And uh, now he plays and uh, he takes the damage. The bleed, the damage. The bleed. Bleed. Uh, he's dead. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we're moving off the board. Not that I have anything to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> and if I don't roll terribly, I believe I can finish the mad one now. Yeah, go ahead. Um, both of my skills have an accuracy of 9, so it doesn't matter which one I'll use. So I would just use, let's say, dazzling light. And he's dead. All right. do, 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 do. There it is. Yep. Yeah. How many rats will it take to gnaw through a ton of putrid flesh? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> so yeah, it's safe to say that now we're going back into the town. I don't believe we need <laughs> yeah. to. Yeah, let's anymore. let's leave. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we leave the dungeon. Uh, we gain two experience points. Yep. Yeah, that was something. So and uh, now we we bring the Hamlet here. So we, we remove all conditions. Yes. Everything else, hit points, stress, etc., they remain as they are. Mm -hmm. a another thing is that if you have an affliction, it goes away and it gives you a negative queer. Okay. So there you go. Uh, I've... Gained a weak grip, uh, which means that my crit gives me plus one strength. <laughs> every every time that uh, that you you get hit by a critical hit, you also get another plus one stress. Oh my god! Yeah. Uh -huh. Ouch! Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so now we're here in the hamlet, and uh, the first thing that we do each time we uh, go to the hamlet is to uh, an event. So there's a stack of events. And we'll see what happens this week. Guild training. One hero can upgrade the skill. Remove this event from the deck. Great. So we can choose one of us to upgrade the uh, skill. <clears throat> also, uh, what the events uh, do is tell us how many days we have to prepare for the next quest. So the better the event, the fewer days we have to prepare. So this one mm -hmm. says we have only two days to prepare. So we place this here on the day two marker. And, uh, okay, we'll decide at some point uh, who will uh, make the level up, not that it matters, since we're not going to play another uh, mm -hmm. quest. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we start taking turns and uh, visiting uh, locations uh, on the hamlet and uh, more things. But at the start of each day, we need to roll for this caretaker guy and see where he goes, one. So he, uh, so he visits the... Uh, the survivalist, that means the survivalist is uh, off limits uh, for the day. Because keep in mind that each location can only be visited mm. by one uh, yes. person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's play through and see how this goes. The bounty hunter uh, goes first, so what do you want to visit? So I will probably... Um, is, my, is my stress now back at normal one? Yes. Okay. yes, you're a normal uh, one. So I probably just want to heal up, I'm guessing. Um, uh, let's see. We we also keep in mind that uh, bosses have uh, this passive effect. So yeah. this is uh, the, the visions of past deeds. The Abbey, it's not the Abbey, it's the Tavern, uh, recovers uh, one less stress. So whoever visits the Tavern will, uh, will heal a uh, fewer stress. Yep, got it. Okay, I am going to. Um, I'm going to go to the sanatorium and, and heal three. Actually, what's everybody else's health like? Am I am I being selfish by doing that? Let's keep in mind that we only have ten gold. With Ew. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, it only costs one gold to put me back up to the top, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we usually for some reason uh, come back to the hamlet with uh, thirty or forty gold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One one. Other small thing that we forget is that when we leave the dungeon, any yeah. unused 
use uh, provisions, they become gold. So we haven't used oh. five of them, so we get five more. Oh, okay. Gold. Okay, yeah, I think we, we can we can afford one coin for me to, to go back up to my top health. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So currently I'm on eight stress, and because of the boss, that means that if I just go into a dungeon, my resolve will immediately be tested. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to suggest that I totter off to the tavern. Mm. Yep. Uh, and let's see. Do you reckon, could we spare three so I can heal six? Or? Of course. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah. Okay, you will heal five because... Uh, because of the boss. Oh, of course, of course. Of course yeah. the, the tavern. Yep. But yeah, that's uh, three coins off the, off the title. Nice. Okay, so now it's my turn. Uh, so, uh, as we said, if you see on your hero cards, you have also uh, town power. Uh, so basically what we did, it, uh, we, we took the, some of the rest abilities in the video game because we didn't want to throw them away and uh, transform them into this town uh, skills somehow. So, so I have this... Turn, yeah, instead yeah. of visiting a, a building, you have an option to just use your right. town. Yeah, so let's say I'm going to use my uh, town power, which is uh, clean guns, and I'm buffing myself for six turns. Oh, wow. And this will stay for the next, uh, for the next uh, dungeon, which is a nice. great buff. Yeah. Uh, and I will also use my, time, my town ability, Chant. So that means everyone uh, removes, uh, recovers one stress. And we all get buffed for three turns oh, for the next dungeon. Nice. Cool. So, yeah, this was the first day. So, we now take uh, our miniatures back mm -hmm. and we roll again for Oops. the. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Oh, oh <laughs> We roll again for the, uh, for the caretaker. Now I rolled an 8. So, where's the 8? Uh, it's, black... okay. it's the blacksmith. Okay. So, the blacksmith is off limits. So, we take the, our next day and visit location. So, Bounty Hunter, it's you again. Yeah, so I could level up one of my skill cards, um, which would cost us two yeah. gold, but I have got the XP for it. Yes, you have. Yeah, so, I might do that. Yeah. Um, and I, I would probably make Collect Bounty do even more damage. <laughs> yeah. So, if you see here, uh, we have the level two skills. So, uh, some at some point you will find that collect yeah, uh, okay. bounty to the yeah, artist. So also keep in mind that you you always have uh, all seven uh, skills available. So if you want to swap skills, you can swap skills in between uh, dungeons. Mm -hmm. uh, you just uh, you are just limited to how many skills uh, you can have uh, equipped at the time, and this uh, is equal to your level. So. At level one, you have three slots. If you level up your hero, you will see here you unlock another slot, and if you level up another level, you unlock uh -huh. another. And also your stats go mm. up. So if you flip this one, I think I believe on the back side is the level two hero. You will see that your stats, uh, yeah, are uh, are mm. better. Mm. And and you also gain another trinket slot. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's also yeah. So so as you play the game and you get more fun more familiar with the mechanics and how everything works, the game actually gives you more options and more things, you mm. know, to... More things to play around with. Yeah, yeah, yeah to play yeah. around. Cool. Okay, so Helion? Um, I think I'm going to use my town power Intimidates to remove the caretaker from his location. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, so I'm going to play and... Uh, I can go here and take this uh, buff if I like. Now that you removed him from the from the blacksmith, uh, and another thing I can do is uh, go to the graveyard and uh, gain a, a virtue. Yeah. So let's say I'm gonna do that. Okay, and uh, gaining a virtue. So for the entire next uh, dungeon, I'm powerful. That means that I roll the dice, time my turn comes, and if I roll one to three, you all become uh, buffed for two turns. Okay, now that uh, that's uh, what uh, what uh, this does. Okay, I'm now very powerful and all, but uh, I sacrificed ten of my stress. So yeah. now that I'm uh, virtuous, the next time I reach uh, ten uh, stress, 
Like they, oh, they I see. So God, it's, it's a it's a high, yeah. uh, high risk, high, risk, high reward. reward. So it's a high risk, high yeah, reward. Lord. Move to go to the graveyard to yeah. go so wow. you, get, you get the benefits of a of a virtue. Also, at the end of the dungeon, this yeah. will become a positive quirk. So it has a lot of yeah. positive mm. things. So but so interesting because too. yeah, because now if you reach ten stress, you are immediately dead. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's a payoff for what you what yeah. yeah. So let's say I'm going there because I feel very powerful and virtuous and I only have two stress and everything's going to be all right. <laughs> and then uh, Nick? So I believe I will go to the tavern now because mm -hmm. I have six stress. Uh, and I will spend six gold. Uh, mm, I will spend three, let's say. Keep in mind that you recover one less stress. But yeah, that, and I will recover two stress. So now that we end it, we need to choose a new quest. So what happens is uh, you draw two quests at random from a quest file. Yeah. Uh, then you you choose which one to to go to, and the other is discarded. So cool. yeah, that's how it works. Also, as long as you are here, you can upgrade buildings. If you see here, buildings uh, have upgrades oh, wow. and uh, become stronger as you upgrade them. They have up to they upgrade up to level three. Uh, you spend uh, 20 gold to upgrade uh, a building, and this uh, gives uh, extra abilities. Uh, one other thing that we didn't talk is how you lose the campaign, because uh, you can lose the campaign. <coughs> so if you see here, we have two spare heroes in this uh, stagecoach uh, area. So the core game has eight heroes. You start with uh, four heroes, and then there is another two heroes waiting here in the stagecoach. So if a hero dies permanently, uh, you pick one from those waiting uh, here. So let's say the bounty hunter is dead, and you pick the... <coughs> the Crusader. Sorry, the Crusader. And if you see here, the stagecoach also has two experience points. Uh, where they come from is uh, from the experience point that we gained uh, from this uh, quest. So each time you finish a quest, the experience points that you get also uh, go here and uh, stack up. Mm -hmm. So now that you gain the, you get the Crusader, you also get all the experience right. points that uh, were accumulated throughout the campaign up to this uh, point. So you will start with two experience uh, points. So let's say now that uh, I die and I'm forced to pick uh, the Arbalist. Okay, so there are no heroes uh, here. And let's say Nick dies uh, next uh, time and he has to choose another hero, but uh, no one is waiting in the stage goods. So now that we cannot form a party of four, the campaign is mm. over. Yeah. Yeah, the stage codes can be upgraded too, and this will add extra heroes uh, here. So so basically, you so will you uh, end up with four, four more heroes. Yeah, four more heroes. That's the maximum that you can get during your campaign. Yeah. Wow. And the other way that you can uh, lose uh, the campaign is by not defeating a boss. So when you go to the boss, uh, it's uh, either uh, the boss or the party. So you either defeat the boss or you are eliminated. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Brutal. This is, yeah, yeah. But it's okay because when we say the don't campaign. Have the to say, okay, I go back yeah. and down. No, you have to clear the quest or you fail. Fly me. Yeah. Mm. And the uh, boss is every third quest is a boss. So yeah. we would play another quest and the next one would be this guy here. Okay. All right. Uh, mm. if, yeah, if we defeat him, then uh, the campaign advances to level 2, so we shuffle level 2 monsters here, the quests are level 2 are stronger. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The yeah. bosses are level 2, so the next boss will draw, uh, maybe we draw the Necromancer, he's level 1, but we will draw him at level 2, and he will have uh, more powerful uh, passive abilities. Yeah. Right. And uh, the th good thing for us is that uh, we also get level 2 trinkets. This is, these are level 1 trinkets, but uh, there are level 2 and level 3 trinkets, and they, uh, they enter the game as we progress through the campaign. So cool. basically, yeah, that, that was, we can say, a full mm -hmm. session of yeah. the game. So you yeah. make a dungeon, you make the town phase, and that's, you can say that that's a, a place. Yes, yeah. All right. Fantastic. That's a pretty comprehensive yeah, view well, of uh, the darkest dungeon board game. Thanks very much, guys, for for showing it, showing us through <laughs> it. Um, yeah. yeah. Apologies that we we took so us. much damage along the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, we, we managed. Yeah, yeah we did it. We did it. We didn't get all the way, but you know, we we did pretty good. But yeah, it's pretty good. So, yeah, okay. is there a way that um the people at home can demo this uh, first, or is there a release date on the on the game that you guys are working towards? Uh, we don't have a final mm-hmm. date, but uh, I believe uh, the Kickstar- We aim for to launch the Kickstarter at uh, early November or late October, mm-hmm. somewhere around there. Uh, we also demo the game we, through Tabletopia. We will make some demos during the weekend mm-hmm. now on packs, and we we have also made some demo presentation on uh, UK Games Expo and Gen Con, and we're planning also to do demos at Essen mm-hmm. during Spiel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. So whenever there's a convention, we usually uh, demo the game publicly so people can come and play through Tabletopia like you do mm-hmm. uh, a demo session. All right. We'll keep Great. your eyes open for that. Mm-hmm. If you are uh, planning to head to any of the digital events coming up and you want to give this a go yourself, hopefully doing a little bit better than me and Johnny did. Um, but this has been the Darkest Dungeon Board Game. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, and thank you to, to our two guests for showing us through it. Um, is there anything else that you want to give a quick shout out to before we go? Uh, no, I believe. Yeah, I I hope you enjoy. Yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very yeah, much a lot. So. Uh, thank you very okay. much for watching. Bye. Yeah, so this is uh, this is Dicebreaker. This is the channel that you're already watching if you're here on Dicebreaker.com uh, or YouTube.com forward slash Dicebreaker. Uh, if you want to see more of our content, then please do click on one of the videos that will pop up on the bottom of the screen coming up right now. And also, you can support the channel by heading over to Dicebreaker.myshopify.com. Thanks very much for watching. We will see you on the next one. Uh, thanks very much to our guests for joining us, and have a lovely day. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.